Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this uh, problem that's uh, graph related. Here we just need to clone the graph. So we have been given some undirected graph and we just need to return a clone, deep clone copy. So let's say I am having this graph, right? A, B, C, and this is undirected. So there is no direction. It can be connected it any way, right? So D and uh, yeah, so this is D. And I need to create a new graph and that will have the same nodes, right? A, B, C, D. Right. So that's that's the problem statement, right? And uh, uh, they are giving all the details here. If you want, you can go ahead and you can read. But uh, this is the basic, and just we need to do the cloning, right? And uh, you can just, if you are interested, you can just go ahead and read like um, serialization and other things why we clone and all. But that's uh, not the scope of this video. And uh, so, undirected graph, the data structure here is the end, the label. Uh, whatever the label and the neighbors right so neighbors is itself is a list right and then we can just traverse through the list and then so let's say for example for a the neighbors are these b c d all the neighbors for b these all are the neighbors a c d and uh, we can just uh, traverse through and then we can go to the node by node right in the uh, depth first search manner so let's try to uh, create some placeholder and when we want to clone let's create first of all map and then in the map we want to do the uh, key as an integer and why we want to do the integer so let's say this uh, a is one or two three so here it's uh, basically we can say like a label is in so it's not a b c d in the actual in our problem it's one two three or something so the key will be uh, this label and uh, the value itself will be the object itself so undirected graph node so this is the object and let's say this is map and let's say this is new hash map why we are making it global so that it can work as a cache and then we can just store in the cache uh, the cloning thing in the map itself and we can return it when, whenever we are done right so let's say if initially we map will not have our uh, our graph right so let's say map dot contains key and then say node dot label so initially uh, it will not have right so once we will have we can just go ahead and return map dot get node dot label right and let's say we don't have already in this map right then in that case what what we are going to do uh, we will create our clone so let's say undirected graph node clone and then new undirected graph node and label let's say we are passing the same label whatever the head or node we have been given so this is clone and then uh, in this clone we want to add all the neighbors right so similarly uh, we will create like this one two three four or something right so let me clear this whiteboard and let's do, do it again so let's say i'm having this node one two three and then four right so one two three four right so let's say these all the these all the nodes for the graph right and uh, now we want to create another one right so label will be one and then we want to add all the neighbors as well so that's what we are just trying to do now right three and then four so this will be the clone copy so that's what we are trying to do it here so we created already the clone that's with the one in our diagram and now uh, to add all the neighbors we need to do the for loop why for loop so that uh, <coughs> excuse me we can add all the neighbors so i is less than and in this clone let's say this clone dot neighbors so neighbors itself is a list and this size right and then this i plus plus right so all the clo uh, whatever the neighbors are there in the clone we want to add that right so what we will do clone dot add so clone is uh, our undirected graph and then clone dot neighbors this is a list and then in that list we want to add our all the 
neighbors right and uh, the way we can do this basically we can just pass uh, our children whatever the children currently children is there and then we can pass the children to the uh, the same caller method so that we will have the next children so let's go to here so one for one the neighbor is two so what we can do recursively we can pass two as the next node and two will find then again for the three this is the neighbor or let's say if it is having four as well so it will have two neighbors three and four and now two two will have two uh, two neighbors so it will recurse it will just go the for loop two times if it is having two neighbors so and then after finishing that we will pass uh, this uh, uh, so two we already passed and then we will pass the similarly three and then four and then five something like that right and it will keep finding all the neighbors and it will just keep adding in the clone object so that's what we are trying to do it here right so neighbors and dot add and then basically we will just because this guy no dot so this is node neighbors neighbors is a list itself right so neighbors and then got dot get i right so what we are doing here uh, 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 we are just uh, passing node our node and then dot neighbors whatever the neighbors and then get i we are just passing in our this method clone graph so let's copy paste here so once this method we are passing recursively and then we are just adding in our clone object that we just recently created right so once this all this process is done then i think we are done right so let me close this bracket here and then after processing done we can just go ahead and just return clone itself right so that's what we can do and uh, apart from that uh, if map so in the map itself we did not have anything so we need to put in the map itself right so what we will do node dot label and then we will just uh, add about this clone itself whatever the clone object is there we just want to add in our map right so uh, in the else part so we are just returning the clone itself and in the main method what we can go ahead and we can return map dot get so if or i think it should be fine because in if and else we are already returning so even if we uh, skip this main return then it should be fine because anyways we are having this map if it contains then we are returning this map dot get node dot label and if it is not we are just creating this clone object and then probably we are just uh, returning the whole clone and then we are building in our, our clone let's quickly check for the compilation error if there is any and then we can correct those okay so null pointer so that's very obvious exception so for example if this node is null then we don't want to do anything right so let's uh, if node is null then go ahead return node itself p i mean null means like the clone itself will be null right let's check for the more exception if there is any okay so three times zero output is zero and expected is three times zero okay so i think looks like this is not building correctly so let's just check it here okay so because we are just iterating through the node neighbor so we need to do it node dot neighbors dot size but not clone because clone we have to build right so and we are uh, accessing here the node neighbors but not this so let's go to the whiteboard so let's say i am having the actual uh, graph like one two three four or something right so let's do this one two three four right so one two three four so uh, once we will go to the this main node this is our main graph that we have been given right this is the main graph oh sorry this is little slow because of without charging so let's try to understand here so whenever this graph is has been given this is the main uh, main graph and then another will be the clone one so we want to traverse through all these main graph uh, neighbors not the clone one so that's what we have to do and let's try to see it here how it's going okay so it's working now so it's fine so overall the complexity will be like the time complexity will be here uh, we are iterating through all the uh, vertices and edges right so b plus e 
right and space complexity will be the number of vertices whatever the number of vertices will be there that will be the space complexity and uh, whatever the time complexity we have to go through every vertex and edges so it will be v plus a and b hopefully this video was useful thanks a lot bye